Today I'm going to show you guys how to scale UI inside of Roblox Studio. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Okay, welcome back to a new video. And um, yeah, uh, today I want to show you guys how you can properly scale UI inside of Studio. What exactly does that mean? Uh, Scale to UI means for our UI to be responsive for all devices. Like right here, I am on a desktop uh, 1080p. And if we go to like a tablet, Samsung, for example, our UI would be responsive and accommodate uh, this new resolution right here. All right, so hopefully I can make this as comprehensive as possible. So yeah, uh, let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it. So first things first is inside of starter GUI, we're gonna add a, scre a screen GUI. And inside of this, uh, we're gonna add a frame. So I'm gonna explain to you guys how scaling UI works. So if we click on frame and inside of our properties, we're gonna go down to mainly position and size and you can see if you expand these arrows there are two sets of values here so for example on the x axis we have if you expand once again we have scale and also offset values right here so currently our frame is using offset at a hundred by a hundred uh, pixels so offset uses uh, an absolute pixel value so for example if I change this to 250 for example you can see our uh, frame here enlarges now also want you guys to go over to test and enable device view right here and I am using uh, 1080p desktop currently so as you can see 250 here is our uh, frame if we drag it right here if we drag it right here and i change the uh device you can see this is not responsive at all like a phone right here you can see that is not what you want for your ui so how exactly do we fix this now usually you guys see me use a plugin this is called ui tools and an example here is, I'm just gonna show you guys real quick, is if I hit scale, this would automatically scale, change from offset to scale. And now you can see that this works properly like so. But how can you achieve this without using a plugin? Because uh, some of these do cost Robux. So let me undo real quick. Let me close out of this. So what we can do is change our offset to zero on both of these uh, X and Y. And how scale works is scale is basically a percent value. So it goes from zero to one, which is basically zero to a hundred percent. So for scale, if I go one and one, this will fill up the entirety of my screen if I position this properly you see our position right here so one will fill up our whole screen one one to be uh, exact now if I go 0.5 you can see 0.5 on X is half of our screen as you see and 0.5 of Y same concept here right so now that we have our UI using scale if you drag these uh, quick transform points right here it will retain the usage of scale right here as you can see so no matter how much I drag this it will adjust the scale and it will not go to offset so if we get closer you can see you can actually uh, this is the offset value you could actually uh, use scale and try to you know for example if you have a Photoshop design you could just copy the pixel value right here as you're using scale like so for example 
I am going to design a quick UI and I'm going to show you guys an example of what I mean. So let's go ahead and draw out a frame. Boom. Let's change the color. Okay. So let's make this 880 by 540. Okay. If we go back here, we can make this 880 and decrease to 540. We can fix our position to 0.5 and 0.5 for scale. And we should fix our anchor point to 0.5 and 0.5 with our position at 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This should place a UI right in the middle of our screen. I'm just gonna grab this color code really quickly. I'm gonna go back here and change the color. We're also, we're also gonna add a UI corner. Same concept here. There is a scale value and offset as well. So we go zero, uh, one makes this the most round that it can be. Um, so I think we go for like a 0 0.05, a very small value, right? So let us give this a test. Boom, you can see now it scales uh, to iPhone X. Let's go for tablet. And you can see this actually kind of shrinks horizontally to fit this new aspect ratio of the tablet. You can see right here as well, it adjusts itself automatically, right? So what if you want to maintain this aspect ratio? For example, an icon, right? Image label right here. Let's go for anchor point 0.5 and 0.5 and also position at 0.5 and also 0.5. Now for our icon, Let's go for a scale value. So let's go to zero. Is there for offset? Scale, let's go for like 0 0.15, 0 0.15. Now we see if I can adjust this like so and fix the position. Okay, cool. So for example, for our icon, let's take a look. Um, you can see we don't want this uh, stretching, this distortion, basically. How do we fix that? We go into our image and we add a UI aspect ratio constraint. And if we set this to one, now you can see this will maintain its aspect ratio and it will always do this, as you can see. All right, guys, that is going to do it. That is my quick guide on how to scale UI inside of Roblox Studio without using any plugins. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you found this video helpful, make sure to drop a like down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.